Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to assign tasks to the individuals in Visual Studio 2013 workflow within the SharePoint hosted app. So, let you. So, I have a simple app which is having a list and that has been already deployed here. So, if I go to my app, which is SharePoint 8 app, so I have a list here. Whenever someone add a new item, they can enter the approver ban so whatever the value they will enter here for that particular person the task will be created so okay let's go back to visual studio and add a new workflow and name that one as custom workflow and this will be a list workflow and I'll associate it with the one of the list which is available and I'll create a new history list on the task list and I want to start this one whenever an item is added click finish to create the workflow okay. so I'll just move this workflow history list and task list to the list folders okay so that everything will be within the list now here what we have to do is first we have to get the current list item value that is approver one so for that we could use lookup sp list item activity and if you go to the properties of this activity we can just assign it to current item and the current list here the result would be a dynamic value so i'm going to create variable okay so which is list item properties so we have to create a variable for this name so let's go ahead and add a variable and the variable type should be a dynamic value so I just assigned a dynamic value so if we click on get properties it is gonna add one more activity called get dynamic value properties and the source of that one would be the result of lookup sp list item activity so in the define properties we could just need to get the approver one so if you go to the path we should see the approver one column here yeah and just populate the variables so that we could use the approver one in the next activities so so far in the current list item list item so we have whoever is the approver okay now what we have to do is we have to assign a task to him so let's look for the task activities we have a single task activity and composite task activity so single task activity is assigning a task to person or the group so let's use the single task activity and on the right side you could see that there are a lot of properties and you could even click on the configure option here so that you could configure in the pop-up uh, like in the ui so in case of assign to we are gonna add approver one here so which is of a string with a value okay and every task should have a title and you could add body field and the due date so there are few more options like task options so you could either wait for this task to complete or move to the next step and in, within the email options you could send the emails based on the overview of the task and there is a new option called outcome okay so where we have custom uh, the task content type which is workflow tasks sharepoint 2013 which is a new content type and also there is a field called outcome field and the default outcome values are approved or rejected so we'll see all these things in future videos so once it is configured then just go ahead and deploy the workflow here okay So you could see that now the workflow is deployed and go back to the developer side open the app add a new item here and let's enter title anything here i'm gonna add a user called approver okay click on save and if i go to the workflows the workflow is already started and 
in a moment I could see that the task is created so you could see that a new task has been created and assigned to an approver so the approver can log in and either he can approve it or reject this task so in this short demo you have seen how to assign a task in Visual Studio 2013 workflow within the SharePoint hosted app thank you for watching this video for more videos please log on to sharepointjourney.com